Hello, hello everyone, Terrence Williams here. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you how I make an order. So I have an order for an embroidered tool duster, and I thought I would show you my process of making it and everything that goes into it. In case you don't know, in case this is your first time, my name is Terrence Williams. I am the owner yeah, of Terrence Williams Designs. It is an ethically sourced and sustainably produced clothing and accessory company, and I make everything. I make caftan dresses and dusters and headbands and purses and accessories, and I run my business full-time, and it is basically just me sewing and designing and shipping everything, and it's my baby. I quit my jobs and moved halfway across the country to Texas, and I'm running my business full time and it is amazing, lovely, heartbreaking, stressful, <laughs> all emotions combined into one, but there's nothing else I would rather be doing. I literally get to wake up every day and do what I love and that is the best feeling. So uh, let me stop rambling and let's get into it. Before I start sewing, can we just get into this makeup look though? Like the eyes, hunty. Yes. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is the fabric that I'll be working with. It is this gorgeous embroidered tool. I do not embroider it myself. I buy it embroidered. It comes in this black and then it comes in a white also but it just has this really beautiful embroidered motif and it has flowers and leaves and even little butterflies. I cannot stress this enough. I personally do not embroider it. I buy it embroidered. Just so there's no confusion. Cause there's big confusion before. I remember when I was still on Etsy, I was part of this Etsy Facebook group and one of the dusters had gone viral and on Twitter and I had put in the group to like tell everyone that I was so excited and um, <laughs> the people who embroider were furious at me because they thought I was saying that I embroidered the material and they were just t trying to tear me apart in the comments and I had to read them for filth and let them know I got the fabric at Joanne's. I did not embroider it. I don't know why you're coming for me, but this is a positive post and you're trying to tear me down. And it was white women at that. Please. <laughs> so I have this duster pattern that I traced on this like graph paper. The order is for a short embroidered tool duster. So I have on my pattern where I just have it at five, six. So the longer one will go all the way down here or even further. And then the shorter one stops right about here, depending on the person's height. So if the person is five, six, it'll be here. But obvious, if they're five, seven, it'll go uh, shorter or longer, depending on the height. Um, so this is the pattern piece and I just lay out the fabric and I trace and cut everything out. And that's what I'm about to do now. And with the order, the person sends me their sizing and measurements. So I know how big or small to make it because with the dusters and the caftan dresses, everything is made to order. So that's what I'm going to do now.
so the pieces of fabric that were at the bottom of the fabric are now going to become the sleeves. It's all about using all of the fabric that you have and trying to create as little waste as possible which is what this pattern does. And the waste that it does create, I can use that fabric for something else, for a different project. Coming soon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut out the sleeves and then we'll get to sewing. We're at my sewing area. This is my serger, my pride and joy, my juki, my air threader. Um, I would show you the rest of the station, but it's a disaster area. But here's my brother. This is one of my first sewing machines. My Project Runway Limited Edition. I still use it to this day. She is a tried and true. Here is my Lock 1634DX. 1634DX. Another serger. There's all my serger threads. And this is <laughs> a lot of my other threads, just racks and racks and racks and racks of it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to re thread this and then start sewing.
just pinning the sides of the duster together right now. But it's really amazing that I get to do this every day. I remember I was living back home in Pennsylvania and I was working two jobs and I liked them well enough, but when I was working those jobs, all I could think about was my business. All I wanted to do was run my business and I just wanted to sew and design and I spent every waking minute doing it. At this point, I was still on Etsy. I hadn't launched my website yet. And I really wanted to do it full time. So I made a plan to be able to do it full time. And I really spoke it into existence. And I said, I'm not gonna work another job or work for someone else. I'm going to work for myself and I'm gonna design and I'm going to be an influencer or content creator and work with brands. And it's so amazing because everything that I spoke into existence is happening. And I even made a vision board when I was still living back home in Pennsylvania of all the stuff I wanted to accomplish. And one of them was moving back to Texas, which I did. And yeah, it's just amazing that everything is is happening how I want it to. But it's taken a lot of hard work. I don't know if people really truly understand what it takes to run a small business until you're actually running a small business yourself. Even I wasn't fully aware of everything that went into it. I'm still learning stuff. Today, to this day, I have the fundament fundamentals and basics down, but I'm still learning stuff about running a small business to this day. Entrepreneurship is not for the weak and it's not for the people who are just in it for the money because you do this every day, all day, constantly. You're constantly thinking about it, constantly doing it. It's constantly on your mind. Even if you're not physically doing whatever your small business is. So even if I'm not physically sewing, I still have my business in the back of my mind. Uh, it's just, It literally is a full-time job. I work harder now running my own business than I ever did working for anyone else. But, I mean, it is work, but it is work that I enjoy. I would much, much, much rather be doing this than back where I was, child. No. <laughs> no. <laughs>
And that's it. That's the first item, the first part of this order. I still have a caftan dress and a headband to do. And then that order will be complete and I'll package and ship that. And then I have like 30 more to go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. A little behind the scenes look at what I do. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, my website is going to be linked down below. And a link for this duster will be in the description also. You can shop all of my pieces and all of my designs on my website, Terrence Williams Designs. Everything is handmade, ethically sourced, sustainably produced, slow fashion. Everything is genderless and size inclusive too. So yeah, give it a check and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.